Hi, welcome to our Coleman Lantern 17B. And I want to do a quick video on this ladder that I built uh, for the bunks back here. It doesn't come with anything. Um, and I know you can buy stuff online. I actually built this myself. I didn't use any specific plan or kit. Uh, just measured it, you know, cut it and so on. But I'll give the measurements here because I think other people might be interested in doing the same. So a couple things to note here is that I didn't want the ladder to obstruct access to the bottom bunk. So the nice thing is that I, you know, it moves over, is, goes all the way over to the wall if you need to, and somebody still could easily access that bottom bunk. And I felt that this was wide enough that someone, you know, even an adult could get up and down on the ladder if need be. So most of the time, I think it's going to be away from the wall, but it could be there if need if someone needs to get to the bottom bunk. So the overall width is approximately 15 inches. And the inner rung here actually measures out at 13 and a half inches. Okay. And the reason why that is, is it's one by four, but one inch is not exactly one inch. It's usually right around three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch. So you have to take that into account when you're measuring the overall width that you want the, the ladder to be. And then, of course, you know, each rung is actually, it's one by four, but it's really only three and a half inches, give or take, um, you know, be, for the front to the back. The other thing to keep in mind, of course, is that it's at a slight angle so that, you know, I didn't want it once again going past the wall and then, you know, impeding access to the bathroom and so on. You know, the door, you know, the door does come into it, of course, because it's got to go somewhere but it's plenty of room to get in and out of the bathroom, you know, without being too much of a problem. And the distance between each rung here, as you see, it's right around 13 inches. It's a little less than 13 inches. It doesn't have to be exact 13 or anything else, but just make sure that they're evenly spaced. I went pretty, you know, close to the ground with the first rung to make it a easy for the you know, somebody get their foot on there before they start climbing the ladder and also to give it some lateral stability so that the legs, you know, there's something, you know, holding it together. Same thing at the top. I mean, there's no real need to have, you know, necessarily a step at the very top other than the fact that I wanted it to be, you know, fairly secure. Things that I also did was I used, um, you know, like two, two and a quarter inch long screws and uh, I pre-drilled the hole right through into the actual step. And why I did that is I did not want these boards to split as I was screwing into them. If you just try to, you know, screw right into the board, you know, with no pilot hole or anything, there's a good chance that this will split as you're trying to screw it. And then of course you have a whole different problem to deal with. And then the other thing to keep in mind is that, like I said, there's a slight angle so that it makes it easy for the person to get in and out of the bunk. And that I actually didn't have a way of easily measuring, well, what angle should it be? I, you know, I probably could have done it a little bit differently. And instead of having a straight cut across the bottom, I probably could have notched this a little bit so that the, the end piece touched the ground and this back piece didn't. You know, it may not have had as much strength on the bottom, but it would have made it easier for me to figure out, okay, what does this angle actually have to be? because I had to cut that a couple of times to get it exactly right. And then uh, one other thing to note is how it's held on. And what I wound up using was these are actually, um, I think it's like two inch long um, L brackets that you would use for maybe a shelf. They're really strong pieces of metal. I mean, you know, I can't, I can't move this at all with my hand. I had to put this in a vise and bend this you know, whack it with a hammer to bend it to this angle. And I put in these uh, felt pads you can pick up at any hardware store, pick it up at Walmart. They're really sturdy. Um, I glued them into place and they're exactly the right fit. So it goes right onto the, the bunk itself and it holds right in place. It doesn't wiggle at all. And I, and the reason why I put the felt in there was a, I wanted it to be secure. And also I didn't want it to scratch the surface of these boards, because I think these are just some sort of laminate. I'm, I'm not sure, but you know, I don't want to uh, make 
you know, deep scratches in this as people are putting the ladder up and down or sliding it across or anything like that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. You know, I stained it. A stain is not exact to the, the, the stain that I had in the RV, but it was stain I had in the house. And I'm like, you know, let me just get a coat of stain on it to make it look reasonably close. It, I think it's fine for our purpose. And uh, it was very easy to do. It probably took me all together maybe an hour to two hours to cut and assemble. Of course, I have, you know, I'm a homeowner. I'm not a contractor. I have homeowners tools, but enough to be able to, you know, cut straight lines and so on. In this case, the only thing that you really needed was, you know, um, I think I used three long boards, you know, and I had to cut them at various heights. I, you know, gave myself a little bit of leeway so I could make additional cuts. And then once I knew how long I wanted the steps to be, you know, I cut four pieces for the steps. If you think that these, the spacing between here is too big or too small. Now my, my grandson is five and he gets up and down this without any issue whatsoever. Um, you know, I climb this, I get up on this thing. It is sturdy enough for me. It doesn't wiggle, doesn't do anything when I step on it. So, you know, I think it's perfect for an adult. It's perfect for a young child and anybody in between. Um, if you have any questions or, you know, comments or thoughts about it, you know, feel free to drop me a line. You know, I'll try to answer those questions as best I can. Take care.